Hey, what's up everyone? The Dark Dude here. So, uh, today I have something pretty interesting. This is a Dell XPS Model 400 and it's old and it's slow. So, what I'm going to be doing today is uh, upgrading it. This is uh, for a family member. So, um, you know, just the stuff it had you know, it's got an old mechanical drive that you can basically hear, you know, even when the side panel was shut it had two gigs of ram i already upgraded that and uh it had like a 256 megabyte video card which isn't even enough to like open up chrome i mean you can see chrome it was stuttering the computer is still running windows vista so i'm probably gonna put 10 on it um and i went ahead and i got this uh crucial ssd uh basically uh, trying to swap this out it's 275 gigs the hard drive in here currently is 150 so I'm gonna be cloning cloning that hopefully using a Cronus or some sort of other uh, cloning tool and I'll be installing this um, 750 Ti video card which should be okay for some you know decent gaming uh, League of Legends stuff like that Currently, it has a very old uh, processor, so I'm hoping that I can get my hands on a Pentium D960. Uh, um, can't find any Amazon right now, so I'll probably search eBay, but those are roughly 3.6 gigahertz or something like that. And that should give this, you know, a, a fair boost. I mean, but just looking at the side, if we do like a side view, I mean, you can kind of see you know it, it's pretty old I did dust it out but you, you got the old mechanical drive here uh, this optical drive that I disconnected just because you know who uses DVDs anymore um, and you got this huge heat sink which there was fans in here but I took those out because they were spooling up so much it sounded like a F-16 fighter jet so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be reapplying the uh, thermal paste on this and then hopefully that will I guess fix the fan issues my my goal is to kind of have this with no fans at all um, but we'll see we'll have to run some temps and and see where they're at but uh yeah it's it's pretty fun when you take old computers and you give them minor upgrades and you see the the huge difference it can make you know you don't have to go out and spend six seven eight hundred bucks you know um, I think this was on sale I'm pretty sure the SSD and this is you know crucial which is a great brand I think it was like I don't know 65 bucks which is pretty decent you know you're getting more space you're getting faster speed the boot times are probably going to be a lot uh, faster as well and then you know you go and you get a video card and you know you're you're rocking so uh, yeah so stay tuned guys and uh, let's get started Hey guys, so as you can see, it did work. Um, the program I use was Hiren's Boot, I believe version 15.2 or 15.1. Uh, I'll check and I'll put a link in the description. Um, I did use uh, Clonezilla, which is, uh, you know, it worked pretty well. So what you're looking at is um, success, basically. Uh, it copied the whole drive and it placed uh, that exact same image on the new Crucial SSD. Now, one thing I will note is that when I made the partition, it did not um, use the whole space, uh, e.g. use the whole drive. So I had to create a new partition uh, 
using the rest of the space in the hard drive so you know I just labeled it like extra storage or whatever um, so it did work out you know you can see from the uh, images for the most part everything looks pretty decent um, the current setup now for that particular PC is two 1080p displays so 19 20 by 1080 and 47 inch television running at 20 by 1080 with zero lag so we're talking netflix hd streaming uh playing high res videos and almost no lag at all uh so that's pretty good i'm happy with uh the results and if you guys have any questions um feel free to comment make sure to subscribe like the video helps me out and i'll link everything that i use because i know i did use uh some other components you know my corsair uh air case 240 um which used to be a spare pc but now i just use it for like miscellaneous projects like this so cloning images and wiping uh, data off our hard drives and things of that nature but it's a good case uh, fortunately it doesn't have an optical drive so i had to connect a uh, external usb samsung uh, drive which is fine it worked out well um so yeah that's it guys i hope you liked the video and i'll see you in the next one take care